Welcome to my playthrough of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. There's plenty of shrines, secrets, and memories to unlock, so sit back and relax. Thanks for tuning in. One goes there, and one goes there. And that's how you get that one done. I decided to go with the Splatoon 2 lighting because, hey, why not? You know? I uh, marked this place off here because, well, uh, I actually ran out of snowballs the first time I tried to do this. But toss a little cryonis down that way. And that should make that work right down there. And survey says that's how you unlock that door. Uh, not only that, so this is a new thing that I found called Zevia. And it is a soda... A zero calorie soda with no sugar, no artificial sweeteners. It's caffeine free. So, I figured I'd try it. And this is a cream soda flavor. So, we're all trying new things today. And oh, it goes even deeper into the cavern than I remember. Okay. Well, that's a big monster. Hebra Great Skeleton is our first shrine for the episode. And my name is Brian Saviano, aka Bricks O'Brien. Uh, A.K.A. Dyed his hair actually blue this time, O'Brien. A.K.A. Uh, throwing snowballs down a, mount down a mountain, O'Brien. To Cuomo Shrine. What does this taste like? Does it taste like cream soda? Let's find out right now. Wow. That is awesome. That tastes just like cream soda. So I, I tried the root beer flavor of this. And I was like, you know what? It's like a ginger root beer. And ginger has a little bit of kick to it. So I'm like, does it taste weird because it's not really like root beer? Or is it that way just because of the ginger? And I think it's the kick of the ginger. Because this literally tastes just like a cream soda. And it's all naturally flavored. And I actually can't believe it. The ingredients are carbonated water, natural flavors, whatever that means. Stevia leaf extract, whatever that means. And citric acid. So, that's not too bad, all things considered. And uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Kind of expensive. It was five bucks for six cans. But otherwise, I think it's pretty good. Uh, we're going to tackle ten or nine more shrines now. And uh, I have a lot of them marked off. I think I have the rest of them marked off. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't look like it. You'll see what I mean in a second. But we're going to get some more. So, here's a shrine. I have zero idea how to solve this one over here has been a mystery to me even with having the hints and even oh. attempting to look it up before this one involves you going through the wind somehow he breaks the rocks to serve a bind above the tempestuous thing okay on the wings of cloth of wood entwined, he lands on the altar to open the way. So from what I can understand, you're supposed to do the whole thing in one shot and land on there while also breaking something, but I don't know. So I'm going to follow exactly as I see in this guide provided by Gaming Since Gaming and see if I can actually pull this off here. Okay, so you have to follow the wind current somehow from what I can tell. Let me see here. I I'm literally just going to try it and see exactly what happens here. All right. So go over by which section? Oh, here. Yes. Yeah, see, like the wind is going this way. So you're supposed to go all the way down here and then land somehow. But Rivali's gale and Rivali's gale, ready. I guess, will not help. Okay. Go over this way. Or wait. You... Okay, so you do that. Break this. Oh, okay. Now I land over here. Yeah. No way. So that's the way that I go. Then I'm assuming I need to land directly on the podium. And that'll be the sol Where am I going, dude? What? Oh, there's a, there's a ton of crabs in here. Wow, okay. Okay. 
So do you need to break all the rock formations? Like all the all the like the broken ones? Like the destructible ones? There's one right here. Which you're supposed to use a bomb attached to an octo rock balloon to make that happen. And like drift it over there or just use a bomb arrow. So now I need to land on that platform there. Okay. I need to go where? This way? This way. I went way too low on it, but that's fine. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. Too low? Yeah, too low. All right, you need to land on it with the parasol open. Don't let go of it and then drop down. You need to have the parasol, you know, the parasol, the glider, whatever. You get it. I'm thinking like Princess Peach's parasol sort of a thing. But yeah, all right, cool. There's our shrine number two. Now, ideally, this is just a walk in, grab the thing, meow it out, and get out of here. But, you know, you never know. Yeah, it's a shrine quest. So, I wonder how many of those we actually have. That would be a good indicator of what shrines I could do next. If I went through the list and did all those. Let me make sure there's nothing of importance in here. And then we'll uh, grab this and get on out of here. But I, I haven't even done that one even just on my own, in my old file, even off camera, I never did that one. I never could figure it out. But yeah, if you destroy all those broken rock pieces, then yeah, you're pretty fine. So we'll go to another shrine as we collect another orb. Aha! There we go. There's one inside of here. This one is right near the Dueling Peaks stable, kind of right toward the beginning here. So uh, by the Hick... Ale Hickley Woods, a Totosa Shrine. So, this could hypothetically be an easy one because it is technically near where you're, yeah, where you do begin the game. It's on your track, kind of. But this one's out of the way. So, this is one you're probably going to miss your first time around, and second, and third, and fourth, and fifth time around, just like I did. So, oh boy, motion puzzles. You all know how much I love those. Oh, this is an introduction. To motion puzzles okay because if you remember the first one we did way back when it was where we were taking the map and we were turning it all topsy-turvy so this one is meant to um you know show you what the motion controls are like that one was fairly easy my uh friends were calling me because I, I i said that i was gonna take a nap and by nap i mean sleep but they're gonna come over so yeah that's my Obligation for the evening. Well, not obligation, but just, you know, hang out, do whatever. So, uh, this one, I believe, would be, uh, this? No. Huh. What way should I go? This way? I don't really care about that chest, to be quite honest with you. But let's see. If I toss that this way. Okay. No, it's supposed to go this way. There we go. Oh, I have an idea. Yeah, just like this. There we go. I get it now. All right, where's the B button? Where is it? It's right. Wait. 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 And there we go. That's tough to do when you're rotating your controller all the way around. But yeah, cool. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what would be in that chest. I don't really... The key. The key is in the chest. Gotcha. Okay, so that's a, that's a necessity. I understand now, but at least I know where to uh, maneuver this to. So that's good. Uh, this is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. No. I mean, it could be. Where's the B button? B button is right there. There we... Whoa, there we go. I guess that's the only thing that's bad about that cream soda thing I was drinking. is a carbonation. Makes you all burpy. But a small price to pay if you want to indulge in a non-soda soda, I guess. 
But I mean, why would you go back to having like regular Pepsi and Coke and all that when you can have all this stuff that like is a lot better off for you and is tasting relatively the same for all intents and purposes? I mean, it's not like the same, the same, but like it gets the point across. I was actually thinking about how I viewed this stuff earlier when I had the ginger root beer. It is the equivalent of people getting the Impossible Burger and the Beyond Meat Burger because those are designed for people who eat meat where this is uh, seltzer, technically, I guess, designed for people who want to quit soda. So I've already quit soda, but I get it and I really like it. So uh, anyways, we're going to get on to a, uh, another shrine before uh, Ricky and Charles come over. Wow. That was easy. I thought, because I remember that one, but I thought it might have been a activate at a certain time shrine, but no, it's just uh, shoot the electrical arrow at that spot and you're good. And the Kiha Yog shrine is one that I remember doing on my last playthrough, which is why when I stumbled across it, I knew it immediately. So don't think I know what I'm doing, because I still don't. But that one was easy enough, and that is a walk up and get a shrine. Wow, that should not have been. I don't know if it requires a certain time, but I'm sure if you go back, ooh, you can see what time I was there, and you can judge when to go for yourself, because it was glowing orange at that point. I don't think it always glows orange, so it might have been just a perfect alignment of time, so yeah, I guess I got lucky on that one, unless it is just any time, which I doubt, so I'd look into it if I were you, I guess. Oh yeah, ye What is this? Is this a sacrificial ritual? 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 What is going on? What are you doing? Pump it up, brother. Oh, it's a fourth Goron blood, brother. The one who somehow beat our famous gut check challenge. It's a contest of endurance. Oh, I think I've heard of this one and I haven't done it. We gotta beat the heat? Oh. Okay. That's why we came here to train. I have an idea. Come join us. The contest of endurance. Sure, why not? Uh, okay. Do we just stand on here and watch ourselves bake? Uh, okay. If you leave the ring or pass out, it's all over. You lose, got it. Now prepare yourself for the contest of endurance. Go. I think we just stand here. Okay. Now I'm assuming I am gonna... Oh, wait. Hold on. Give me a second here. Give me a second. Oh, it doesn't matter. Nope. Okay. Cool. So I think that we're going to continuously lose hearts, but I think if we just heal up, we'll be good. Because he didn't say anything about, uh, uh, you know, using any healing items. But also, we have over 13 hearts. So, well, there's one. Is that Grandpa? Oh, no. Don't die. Okay. Well, that didn't require a lot of hearts at all. Wow. Actually reminds me of a challenge that happened a little while ago. And, uh, yep, that's the ultimate challenge there, so there's another one there. Uh, there was a competition that was held. I forget what the reward was, but it was, it was probably like Patriots tickets or something like that. But there was this bar slash entertainment center, basically Dave and Buster's, but like a ton more to it um, and they said okay if you can stand out in the cold of New England in like January late what wait what do you what do you want me to do hold on hold on hold on what what was it again oh heat resistant gear oh, okay yeah I gotta take that off um, 
but whoever can last the longest outside without like giving up they win like tickets or whatever it was right so there were people who oh this is this is fire okay cool there were people who were trying to stay out there for like hours and hours and hours and these people were like not gonna die of hypothermia but like it's totally like not safe to do that and there was a ton of people that were out there attempting to do this challenge and it's like dude you gotta make sure you protect yourself and like not do that like how crazy can you possibly be so they would wait outside in the freezing cold with nothing but their underwear trying to get these tickets and it's like wow that is uh that that's something so can i eat does that count um maybe i'll try wow it does count okay so you can just keep eating food and you're good no matter what uh what they say so whatever they don't mind that i take a break to eat a nice little salad right in the middle of it so that's good but i'm assuming if we jump or do anything then that disqualifies us anyways pretty uh cool little jingle there so so epic brother oh you are oh yeah you're so epic man oh brother really freaking out there but all right then they choose to let the shrine show itself but yeah even if you had the the proper amount of hearts yeah like the 13 hearts you're you're good a couple of healing items that's fine that's totally fine that's the shrine whoa brother you win the contest of the ultimate champions now please so my feet don't burn the jolu na shrine has shown itself but uh, like i would never ever ever even try to wait outside in the cold of new england you don't mess around with the cold of new england obviously it's nothing like in alaska or the antarctic or whatever but like oh we got to do stuff too that's weird Oh, we got to connect stuff? Oh, wait, what? Is it that easy? Uh... Is that it? Well, all right, that's the idea. Cool. Um, that That's just not a smart idea. Oh, wait, is that a guardian? No, I thought it was a guardian. Oh, I really wanted it to be. I wanted to take a picture. I still need a picture, dude. Bruh, I still need that little uh, pick. Oh, I know what to do. I gotta raise you up. I gotta pick you up by your bootstraps. Oh, there's... Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Hold on. Wait, do I? I think I do. Maybe. Come on. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. I thought that might have worked. Wow, okay. So there's something I'm missing here, maybe. I mean, that that obviously didn't work because it, it was gonna affect the, the spinny thing, not the actual lever itself. We interrupt your previously encountered shrine to bring you a fairy fountain encounter because I went out of the shrine but Ricky Charles came over and I wanted to scan in the amiibo realized that I also had enough to upgrade my gear so what I actually did off camera was I got enough rupees to get the final fairy fountain and I just sold off a bunch of stuff I'll show you what my updated inventory is like but I also upgraded the uh, the helm all the way up to its maximum level so it's at 28 uh, you know shielding here whatever you want to call it uh, same thing goes for not the tunic, because we still need the shards of Farosh's horn. So whenever we see a dragon from now on, regardless of what dragon it is, we're going to go for the horn. And then I can upgrade the greaves, because I have the star fragment and the ton of giant ancient cores that I told you about before. And I wanted to show you what the four star sequence looks like with the fairy fountains here, because it's pretty funny in general. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's very, that's something. So, just picks you right up and there you go. Almost drowns you, but hey, in the name of upgrading your gear, that's pretty good. So, 28 Guardian Resistance as well as um, on the uh, Va 
Naboris. No, not the Von Naboris. The Von Meadow Helm, I should say. So our total uh, resistance here is 64, which is incredible and something I, I don't know if we're going to actually need to, like, eat stuff ever again because of how, like, how much defense we have. <clears throat> So this shows you what my uh, stats are at now. I went around and killed a couple guardians just to get more stuff. And, you know, next time we see Kilton, we'll get all the monster parts and cash in some of this stuff. But we're pretty good in general right now. Traded in all the ancient cores. That way I can upgrade those uh, things that I upgraded. So, yeah, it's all looking pretty good right now. Uh, now, back to that shrine. So I think this is how you solve it here. Oh, it's just... <laughs> It's just ever so slightly off. So what I think you need to do is stasis the button while you're standing on it, and that's going to leave plenty of room for you to go into that uh, that area back over there. That should be enough, right? Yeah, that'll totally work. Cool. And you need to move that metal cube over to that side there because you can't use your glider to glide over to that side it has to be this side over here so like you'll see here go up just like that and so <clears throat> yeah I think you need you have to use stasis here I don't know what else you could possibly use yeah here we go there we go and that'll keep that all right there there is a chest kind of right behind where we first started there <clears throat> I didn't end up getting it because I don't really care and oh so this is interesting I know what this is all about Okay, so uh, this can be difficult or easy depending on what you want to do. Um, let's see here. I'm going to adjust this so it's like this. And you'll see what I'm going to do in a second here. Just going to use all fire arrows to launch all of this and make it all lit up. Because I don't feel like spinning all the way around and doing all this the entire time. So I'm going to move this ever so slightly more to right there. Okay, so you can see each of those four sides right there are lit up as well as this side. And that's going to do it. Right? Nope. Okay, it's not going to do it. Nice. So what side is not... Is it this? Oh, it's this side. Hello. There we go. That's it. Cool. Yeah, you're supposed to use the... You know, the flame up there to make them all rotate and probably use Cryonis and all that. You can. I'm not. I'm lazy. And I also, uh, I'm trying, so I have the Cherry Cola version of this now. It's pretty good. So, it's a new day. New dawn, new day. I'm very energized. So, uh, let's get more shrines. I didn't realize there was a stable down there. Huh. Okay. So, I'm assuming the shrine is pretty available. It's not hidden? Yeah, it's not hidden at all. This is the <coughs> rota Ooh shrine. This one's located kind of by the castle here. A little bit, close to a Hyrule Field near the central tower. There's a Colosseum that is near here that houses a Lionel, and that's going to be a part of our Lionel killing excursion, an episode that I'm going to hopefully be doing with Matt. I want him to be a part of the last couple of Zelda videos, so it's a matter of uh, his schedule and all that, but, you know, we shall see. It'll be, hopefully, uh, very good in general. So, um, let's see here. I've obviously done this one before because I have gotten all of the stables unlocked at one point or another, so I don't know uh, how much more difficult this could be. I'm assuming I just... Uh, you know, toss that into there, and maybe have this help using this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna throw that into there and miss. Wow, really? Okay, sweet. Remind me to never play basketball ever. Not like I did before, but make sure I especially, wow, don't do it now. Because, yeah, that did not go anywhere near like I wanted it to. So, luckily, there's water here. So, in case you are really bad, you can just try it again. All right. Three's up. Let's go. Bam. There we go. Nice. And I'll go with this to save a little bit of the arrows. 
There we go, and that's it. Close to it. Maybe that's it, in general? Oh. Okay. So there's that. Uh, how about I do this? Now that does not work, because I need the key. I need a key. Hmm. The Master Sword power has been restored. I really thought that was a little guardian over there, and I was about to freak out, like, oh, finally! It's a little mini one. But nope, not quite. Uh, does it involve me using Cryonis to get inside of here? It might, actually. Oh, wow, okay, never mind. Sorry I asked. Jeez. Alright, how about this? Yeah, it definitely does. So go over here. Nice. Okay, any guardians? No. I just want, like, one little mini guardian. That's it. That's literally all I want. And then we can do that quest and be done with it. But, okay, sure. Uh, I don't really know what that's for over there. Oh, it's probably to reset yourself? Yeah. Oh, because you get caught in there. Awesome. Show me a key. Survey says, yeah, it's a key. And I'm assuming you just use that to launch yourself upward wherever you are. And then uh, you'll be good in that way. So one more time with this. I don't know how you would activate that otherwise, but, you know, sure. Actually, one last time, I should say. There we go. Now launch me up through the center. There we go. Now wait, what? That only launches me up so far. It's not far enough. That's definitely not far enough. Okay. And I can't make it through. Oh, I can I make it through that other side? Let me try it. No, I... Oh, no, definitely not. I just hit my head on the wall. Nice. All right. Try it again. Do I... Use something else? Because getting onto here doesn't do anything. And there's no magnesis, no nothing that I can use. Oh, wait. But wait. There's more. Ooh, I had the right idea, though. I got to. Yeah, there's a staircase there. Okay. I getcha. Alrighty. Oh, I know what to do. Hold on. Do that. That's going to make that go. There we... Oh, come on, really? You get what I was trying to do, though. Do it again. Activate that. I went through the one little section that it was open. But hey, I got it. I don't remember that one. But I know I definitely got the stable, because I got all of them. But whatever. All right, on to another one. <coughs> Ha <laughs> ha!